as I'm going through my email, I can see a lot of messages you guys have sent me. Like some of you are asking me about the development. Some of you are asking me about the technology, about the roadmap. And I've also got a couple of funny questions. That's all I will try to take in this video because just now I got back from one of my live classes, which I take and I have a half an hour window. And after that, I have a small meeting for a half an hour. So I thought let's answer this important question because if you have the right mindset, right guidance, then it will be easy for you to learn the thing faster. And that way you will not waste your time when we start focusing on your learning straight away about the project, about the technology. That's all you want to cover in this video. So the very first question I have is that I'm a Hmong developer and have already built a couple of projects. So is it sufficient to learn blockchain development in the next two months? The answer is you can, but it depends on your skills that how good you are in the Hmong development. Because if you look at the blockchain technology, those technology revolves around JavaScript and all the library which you're going to use when you go to interact with the tab and you go to interact with the blockchain, mostly you will find it's written in JavaScript and TypeScript. So if you're good in that, then definitely it would be easy for you to take that switch and focus on the blockchain development. But uh, but for the smart contract development, you have to learn solidity and you have to be very good in that. For you, it would be easy if you good in JavaScript because we have the similar structure in the solidity programming language. So you will get that familiarity very quickly. So once you learn the language, build at least four to five project related to the industry so right now we have multiple project on our channel so what we are doing on all of this project we are focusing and targeting a specific industry whether you talk about supply chain management whether you talk about decentralized autonomy and that we are focusing and building a system where everything would be controlled in a decentralized ecosystem we have also built entry marketplace where we are solving a real world problem in which the user can come and create an NFT on a decentralized ecosystem. So it's actually a business. Then you can build a Uniswap clone where you have to know that how DeFi exactly work, how you can create liquidity, how you can create pool, how you can perform the swap of the token, how crypto can see exactly execute on the blockchain. So these are the important things which you have to know. So once you start focusing on the development, you have to also focus on this terminology because when you're going to sit for the interview and when you're going to build any kind of architecture, these things going to be come into the picture. So again, it will take a little bit of time if you give eight hours or six hours every single day and that's the only work you have to learn blockchain development then it would be easy and it would be possible for you to take the switch from Hmong development to a blockchain development you can so build project build project the more project you will build that's how you can be able to make yourself visible in the industry and that way what will happen you will increase your credibility the people will know you in the industry that there is a guy who can build project related to this so it's possible and the second question i have that taking a master degree will help me to take job in us so it's a wrong question. This is not how you have to think when it's come to getting job and getting yourself ready in the industry. Why you are focusing in the US market? If you be good in the skills, if you know your work, you will have a lot of opportunity around the world. You have to focus on your skills, build project. You are a developer. Why are you going to focus on a specific market? You can build a lot of good project here in India. There are so many companies. Why are you focusing to a specific country? So just open up your mind. So this is a childish type of question. So you don't need to focus a specific location. You're a developer. You can work from anywhere in the world. So that's the first part. Now come back to the second part that taking master degree will help you to get job in an industry. So as far as I have seen around myself, I haven't found any institution who giving you the master degree. Yeah, there are a couple of institutions and they're also making a huge claim that once you complete their master degree, you will get a job in this company. But I have seen a lot of students. They have taken and spent a huge amount of money, but right now they're not getting anything. You have to understand that how this organization exactly work. So no matter wherever you are taking those classes, wherever you are taking those master degree, check their credibility that what they're going to provide you exactly. If they are claiming that they're going to give you hundred percent job in the market, then you can take it. But, but at the moment, what I have seen that if you have the skills, you can easily be able to get job. You can start with the freelancing, you can build one or two projects, and then you can start applying in the company or you can apply in the company straight away. You can check the company requirement that what they exactly want. Check the company requirement which you are targeting. And based on that, you have to prepare yourself. And this approach will help you to get into the company very quick. Don't try to learn the thing randomly. Target a specific segment where you want to go, whether you want to focus on a blockchain, core blockchain development, whether you want to focus on a DeFi development, whether you want to focus on the NFT space, pick a segment and work around that. Look at the technology, look at the framework, look at the tools we utilize and check out the company requirement. And based on that, you have to prepare. So if you take this approach, it will save your time. And as for the institute, I haven't seen the institutes that are providing that kind of material at the moment. So I'm not going to make anything bad about those institutions. But whenever you're spending your money, try to do a proper research that what kind of benefit is going to give you and what is the requirement of the industry. So always check the requirement of the industry. Try to find out the company. If you're really concerned about the job, try to find out at least 10 companies. Check out that what technology they're working on. What are the tools they are utilizing in their infrastructure? What are the projects they have built? Check out their portfolio. You will find all the answer. You will find every single thing that what exactly you have to learn. 
then on the base of that, you have to focus on the learning and pick those technology. So if you want to become a full stack blockchain development and that you have to know about Node.js, you have to know JavaScript, you have to know Next.js. So these are the important things which, so most of the project which I get, most of the clients, they want me to use this framework. Like they want me to use Next.js. They want me to use Node.js when I'm working on any kind of trading bot on a staking platform. So learn about the technology. So first give at least three to four months to yourself, learn everything properly. After that, start applying for internship, start applying for a job. Don't concern about the money in the very first go. Once you get into the market, you will understand everything that what exactly happening. Okay. The thing I want to suggest to you, whenever you are spending your money, try to check what value they're going to give you. Talk about the previous students, those who have already taken the course, talk about that. And that way you will have a proper picture about the institution and then you can able to take proper decision. So that's the only thing I want to cover in this video. This is the only two question I can take at the moment because like David is online right now and I have to start the meeting. So. See you in the next video. I hope you guys have got your answer. I'll take more questions like this. If you have any question in doubt, do let me know in the comment section. Definitely, I'll try to bring more tutorial on that. With that, I'm ending this video. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.